All right, we're going to proceed to the second trial, Major's Initiation. Word is getting around oh. that you vanquished the priestess in battle. Well done. Oh. Wouldn't go that far. Here, more than in... Seeker of power, employ your element. Find the key in a place opposed. Unlock what is yours. Here, more than... I feel like that's not very helpful. This one sounds fairly straightforward. I am not a huge fan of heights myself. Should you desire to meet with Chief Hawkane or his son Falk, I, love these names. I suggest diplomacy. Failing that, grow some wings. In either case, you will not be able to fight or bluff your way into their valley. The guards are well trained. He must have been about half your age when you arrived in Ignor. His kind grow fast. It will not be long before he ascends to his father's throne. A proud man, if that is the word. We have done our utmost to ensure he has no reason to feel prejudice against us. It would be unwise to engage them in combat. It has been the home of the Flightarian people since the last of the rogue forms were eliminated. Jonas might know more, if you are lucky. A little tough, but if you add some marinade, exercise the utmost caution, or else you'll have a fight on your hands. Even if you survive such an encounter, your actions will not be forgiven. I imagine it would fry well. Of those who have survived such an altercation, most did so only with a water master's healing. I doubt they would cause you much bother with their wings aflame. News turns slower here than a roasting marsh slug. That is where gossip comes in. I hear your friend Bort has finished his 4,000th book and is planning to hold a party to celebrate. I am more inclined to believe the former. That's the spirit. I don't understand what that means at all about the sphere. I can't return. Griffin Egg. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to find. You took care of the priestess, I see. You saw? I watched everything. I'm not sure whether I should feel grateful or disturbed. Why not both? Place my open mouth on the glass. Without a doubt, the best of the three. All those feathers. I thought of shifting the observation hall view to one of the peaks, but then I wouldn't be able to see them anymore. My third favorite species. He will make an excellent heir. The Flytarians are blessed to have such a wise and noble leader. Not to mention Tidy. That's very important. As you would know. Exactly. Not that talkative, but who wants a chatty guard? I have made numerous visits to the Flytarian Valley over the years, though the last time I was disallowed entry. Maybe it was something I said? Ah! Those fine specimens guarding the mountain path take their roles seriously. That may be. But I still need to get past them. A kind gesture never strays upon the wind. What does that mean? Try to win their favor. There must be some way you can be of service to them. I've observed that they seem to take issue with the nearby wasps. Perhaps if you were to remove them? Couldn't hurt, I suppose. Well, actually, it could. Be sure it doesn't hatch or you will be a mother before your time. Don't you mean father? Don't confuse the child! Proud and regal creatures, like those who have pledged to protect them. You will never find more diligent parents. Irritable creatures, their stings can leave a nasty rash, assuming they don't kill you outright. Don't get too close. Is there a way to pacify them? Have you tried singing to them? No, and I'm not going to. Oh, what about putting them to sleep then? That should calm them down. Really? Works for humans, doesn't it? I have heard that the fruit of a certain plant has an intoxicating effect on insects. You can barely keep them away. <laughs> or awake. Which plant? No idea. They're not really my thing. Okay. 
something. Keep your head. I should see if Bort has any insight to offer about this intoxicating plant. A handprint. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this. I think it, it gets better the more you get into it, but it seems to be really well crafted. Oh, this guy, I've got Dark. a approach. You survived the palace. You don't have to sound so surprised. I'm sorry. I had a strange dream recently. In it, you were wandering the town market and met a boy standing in the shadows. He was demanding to know why he couldn't come with you. From behind him, a monstrous creature composed entirely of plant matter rose up and devoured the lad. See? This is what happens when you read about nothing but horticulture. After that, the sun shifted, parting the shadow, and the creature dissipated. I'm not one to put much stock in dreams, as you know. All the same, be careful. You need to remember to watch the icon, and when it turns to its, when it's not transparent, I can click. I don't want to skip dialogue anymore. Okay, Let's see what he gives me for this. Oh, that's right. Your brooch, I, I owed it him. I'm impressed. I almost expected you to hold on to it or sell it. I keep my word, Cray. So it would seem. Did you have fun with the priestess? Fun might be too strong a word, but I won't forget the experience in a hurry. No doubt. Enjoy the rest of your trial. I know the plant Jonas was referring to. There's a tingleberry bush tingleberry. growing in the woodland just outside of town. The berries, when dried and crushed, release an intoxicating aroma. Heating the powder in an incense burner will increase its potency. This should be quite effective against the wasps. Where am I supposed to find an incense burner? Seems like the sort of knick-knack the giftless would take an interest in. Are you sure this will work? Couldn't I just feed them the tingleberries? Technically, ingesting enough should knock any creature out cold. Insects, however, aren't known for their large appetites. Besides, have you ever tried force-feeding a wasp? Point taken. You'll have to smoke them out. Ready to read up on your second task? What do you need to know? Something about the mountains. I know just the thing. I'm also only a couple points from my level. You should be able to find it now. That is one for Jonas, I think. Oh, I think. And Guardians. Okay, not much in there. Okay, let's see. Get more mana. Worth 10 more hit points. That seems worth it. Go with the distribution. Not far to my next level. Phileum won't speak to me. Maybe because I told a few dozen people that I thought Varner was a better candidate for Firemaster. Okay, I guess let's head to the town. I should learn my next... Oh no. Okay, so I do have to figure out the key. I should not. This skill. In a place opposed. It won't be in the same hall I searched last time, that's for sure. So if I was in the reading hall, let's go to the observation hall. Okay, maybe in the S. Yep.
Now that I have the key, what is it supposed to unlock? Nice. Maybe this chest? I can't use that item. Here, more than it. I have already located the key. I can't think of any... That's the... I don't remember seeing any locked containers. Why risk a concussion? I have been trying to open this chest since I arrived ten years ago. Could it That's be right. that this yeah, key... with the chest. There's a scroll inside the chest. Do these runes pertain to my next spells? I'd love to know who created that sphere. Huh? He had to leave the tower for a time. Receive your power. It keeps them bound. The animates enemy corpse. Huh? Smoke growth. Okay, I'm gonna have to use that on the tingle bird. Okay, cool. Hello. So I can discover all of the pillars and teleport back and forth. It's starting to open up quite a bit. I like it. First, let's go get these pillars. The pillars should still act as attraction points for my Elliport spell. The magic is bound to the stone itself, not the shape. Master. So... Okay, I can do it anytime already. Okay. Now let's go get the Ingleberry. Ingleberry, whatever it is. Not ready, so I need to cast Nourish. I'll just take the dry one. So these are Tingleberries. Now I need to find Incense Burner. Have you a cut, burn, or abrasion? Bandage it up, so others need not look at your wound. This I sell, and more. I noticed you have an incense burner. Is it for sale? Oh, that depends. It is of immense sentimental value. How much? If you were prepared to risk your life for me, we might be able to come to a deal. If not... You would find the deal less palatable. I'm listening. When I first arrived, traveling through the northern wastelands, I was accosted by bandits. Fortunately, I managed to conceal my most valuable belongings. If you were to retrieve them... Where are they exactly? Ah, the mind and the eye seldom agree. You don't remember? I recall a deep ravine, a lifeless shrub, and the brittle remains of a beast and its master. My belongings lie in the vicinity of those. Here, this map may aid you. I'll see what I can do. It looks like a normal map of the wastelands.
Well, that's when we enter the wastelands. Looks like this could be the area. Ravine. Maybe a lifeless shrub is there. I guess let's go check that out. supposed to be able to handle these guys. Maybe I just need to run through this place. This looks like the area C Long described. It's a bit late to lend a helping hand. True to his word, Si Long's valuables are stashed here. I don't want to uproot it. But I definitely need more constitution in terms of getting more HP. Follow you. I'm damaged. That's part of the problem. I don't even have any help. I need to rest or something. Should you have any bones to spare, I could use them to make charms. For luck, you understand. You would have my gratitude, as undying as the walking dead that comprised them, as well as a humble payment. By your actions, do you prove your worth? Here is the incense burner. Thank you. That which is loaned is best returned. I promise to give it back when I'm done. A promise seeks always a companion indeed. So do I need to go rest at my... Why do I have such low hit points right now? I'm going to try to rest at the tower. I did not spend the last 10 years. Come on, I've got to use healing potions. You did it, Dark. You didn't tell me she was a water mage. A dark water mage. There is a difference. What of the priestess? She is as I found her. Though many would have it otherwise, you did the right thing. Let's hope so. Yeah, I should have killed her. That tasted very refreshing. I feel like that's just mana, though. Yeah. So, I need to buy healing potion. Oh, 
But what if I go to the training hall? Ready for some one to one? A challenge! Clear the hall! An immobile foe oh, makes for an easier, more vulnerable target. Magnificent! The more powerful your entangle spell. Be wary, however, it will not stop ranged attacks. The reincarnate spell permits the Earthcaster to reanimate the deceased. Summon an undead oh, goblin an ally and have him attack your opponent. Okay, you do need to As you just witnessed, undead allies will aid you in battle, but their strength and longevity can never match that of a living being. However, these attributes will improve as your reincarnate spell increases in power. Now that we have covered everything, would you like a one on one practice session? I guess it's useful to do this every time. Wait, I clicked yes. Ready for some one to one? Well done, Tyler. As for you, Doc. You'll have to do better than... I just need help. Nope, this restores you to what you had before. That's one thing I don't like, is that this takes place over one day, so you can't rest. But maybe that's by design, so let's go see how much a healing potion is. Or gold. Oops, I already have one. So are these something you can put in your items? It must be. So I probably need to... Oh, I've got stuff I can use. I don't mean that's kind of cool. I like this. I really like that. Bort said the tingleberries must be. I am not permitted. Back to the tower. I've got a, a mortar there. The berries have been crushed into a fine powder. Now I have to be heated. I can't use... I've packed all the tingleberry powder that will fit. Or maybe not. Turning the knob only extinguishes the lit. The incense burner is now lit. I had better not breathe this too deeply. Certain incense can affect a mage's concentration. Okay, so, well, actually. Well, the teleporting is nice.
I'm not going to throw the incense burner at the hive. The wasps are back inside their hive. If Bort was right, they should be subdued. Moving the Vespiary away from the sp Moving the It's too high to read. I can't use The wasps have awoken. They'll need to remain cl I don't know if that's sufficient or if... Who in their right mind would talk to a bird? Oh, that's right. An air mage. I do not think the eagles will let me pat. Who in their... How do you know it's a favor? You can't even talk to them. A hive of It's too... I can't use... This skill is in... This skill... Moving the Vespiary of... I can't use that item there. Okay. There is no foothold. There. 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 I need to find some way to get it down. He's music to his own ears, at least. To seek wisdom in rumor is to find seeds among the sand. One must sift to find both. Talk about... Look again at what he has to trade. Talk about us. I feel. I oh, can't talk to that guy. But, all right. Wasteland burrower's teeth are said to contain a protein that increases crop yield when ground into a fine powder and used as fertilizer. If you make some for me, your purse will be all the heavier for your effort. Please accept it. Not bad. I wonder if there's anything you can do with it. I wonder if any of these things restore health. I have need of new blades for Hudson. If you encounter any bandits in your wanderings, see if they can be parted from theirs. Have you heard of the Moss Man? The Boss Man? The Moss Man? What? Ah, that hit the spot. Okay, that does heal a little bit. 
Ah. Have you heard of the Moss Man? Cause he has heard of you. That's the boy in the dream. Gives three. Ah. That gives two. Ah. Ah. That gives two. So really, I need quite a lot. At this point, I should have bought the healing potion. You should beware the moss man. The boss. It has known many a footprint. Hello there. That's an interesting. Uh, it's not my fault. Pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. It, it's just a rhyme I heard when I was a boy. I seem to recall it. Who taught it to you? Uh, I, I don't. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about him. Easy now. I was only talking about the rhyme. Rhyme? Oh, yes. He's really on edge. Uh. My name? Um... Malt. Yes, Malt. Pleased to meet you, Malt. You look as if you're waiting for something. Or... someone. Why would I be waiting? Uh, he's not coming back. What? I mean... Oh, elements, forgive me! Malt, tell me, has something happened? Is someone in danger? It's Sir Hamphit. My master. He's... He's... Is he alright? I... I don't know. Where did you last see him? By the cave. At the base of the mountains. But... but that was this morning. I think you should take me there. But... but... Right now. Alright. Follow me. At the base of the mountains? He went into this cave. On his own? I couldn't stop him. He told me not to follow and went inside. Then... I heard it. The Moss Man? It's real. Exactly like I imagined. You saw it? I... I... It's alright. I'll go in there. Just... don't run off. There's something not right about this, but I guess I'll find out soon enough. The surface of the looking glass is cracked. I don't think Sir Hamfed went quietly. Sir Hamfed. It's soft, cool, and moist. Sir Hamfed, I presume. Sorry, I just came to collect an acquaintance of mine. He seems to have gotten himself tangled up. You must be the Moss Man. I've always wanted to meet a childhood monster. Right, so, uh, I will just be taking Sir Hanfed here and... No! You not take the Bad Man! That's a tad judgmental, don't you think? The creature is an Earth manifestation. I can't fight it directly. It would only absorb my spells. That will not stop the creature's approach. Okay. That will not. That will not. That will n The creature is comprised of raw elemental energy. <laughs> this hulking creature is huge, green, and fearless. Sunlight. Ju 
There is not currently enough sunlight in the cave to reflect at the moss mill. There is not... What a good. relief! The moss comprising the creature is ultra sensitive to sunlight. Simple, but it's all good. It's no use. The moss is too tightly compacted to remove with my bare hand. He is unconscious. He's entangled too tightly. I don't need a bunch of leaves. What? I can't leave yet. What then? I can't use that item there. I can't. That would only make... He's in tank. There's already a beam of... Okay, okay. I can't use... That might work. I can't... I hope this works. Oh, my level was at 220. I guess not. You. You don't need to thank me. As you wish. Mark! Master! You're... safe? No thanks to you. What do you mean? He led me here on the pretense of having found some treasure or other. I ventured in to take a look at that thing appeared and trapped me. Appeared, you say? You were not listening. It's the boy's fault. He should be punished. I... I didn't mean to. I couldn't help. Help what? What's going on? I never liked you, Hamphid. You were always... A bad master. It's back! Do something! Something, or someone, is resisting my spell. Molt! Stop this! What? I know what this is! A manifestation of your raw, untempered gifts! Uh, my... gifts? His gifts? You're an Earth Mage, like me, Molt. You were never trained to use your power, and now it's out of control. Only you can stop it. But I... I'm with you. He's right. He's been a servant all his life, and an orphan one at that. What value is he to anyone? <laughs> That's not helping! Let it go, Molt! Uh, I... I can't... Think! This isn't you! That creature is not who you are! Uh, I am... No one! Somehow, I have to make him remember himself. Yeah. This is you! A boy! Not a monster! A servant. Just a servant. Are you all right, Molt? Never mind him. What about me? I've been kidnapped and held prisoner by my own servant. I demand justice. Okay, so it was love all. I first heard him in my sleep. He spoke to me, and told me to bring Sir Hamphid to the cave. It was your subconscious, acting through your untamed gifts. We mages are trained from a young age to control our power, lest it overwhelm us. The gifts are a blessing, but are as wild as the elements who granted them. I... I hate him. I wanted to... I think we all saw. See? He is a danger to us all! I've always been a servant. I was born into it. I can't imagine another life. 
I had no idea I had them. Honestly. I believe you. Though it's not often one escapes the detection of our towers. You must be powerful. Too powerful for the mages? Don't you see the threat he poses? This is an outrage! The boy must be punished appropriately! What say you, mage? Molt, I want you to come back with me to the mage's tower. Really? Whatever for? To see him train, I wonder what obviously. The other options do. His gifts require fostering. The sooner, the better. Ridiculous! Am I really a mage? In time, I believe you will be. You have great power, and it should not be wasted polishing your master's boots. Well, of all the- I apologize, Sir Hamfed, but it is my duty to bring Molt to the attention of my brethren, if he so wishes. That is a choice I did not have. Can I really go? I will take that as a yes. <laughs> you can forget about a reward. Good day to you, Sir Hamfed. That's some kind of playing a good character. Are you though, saying but... this boy was chosen by our element and that we somehow missed it? Not even we can claim to be perfect, Master. I would not say that too loudly. <laughs> All right, we will see how he fares. It is rare to take in one so old. Old? Uh, I am 14. You have done well, Dark. I feel that something is owed to you. But as you know, mages are not renowned for their wealth. I do not ask for anything. I have something for you. It belonged to my father. A rope. A he long gave stick. It to me before he died. I don't know its value, but I couldn't bring myself to sell it. You have offered me a better life than I could have hoped for. I want you to have it. Thank you. Wait, let me see that. No, it is not possible. What is it? Unless I am mistaken, this is a talisman, forged by the earliest of the Earth Mages. They are believed to be all but destroyed. It promotes the power of any Earth Mage who bears it. That might explain why we couldn't detect Molt. Indeed. Consider yourself most fortunate. I do. Thank you again, Master Cadet. And you too, Molt. Good luck. That requires base constitution, base intelligence, so let's do our level. We'll get both of those to a higher base. Um, next level's not that far away, so let's go to... Accuracy or more spells? Go with magic. Okay, so now we can... That's plus one intelligence. That's really not good. This is 20... 20... Where are you? Hang on. Okay. If I have no armor on the card. Gives me 15% mana. 20% damage to all spells. So now it's one constitution and strength or 25% mana recovery. I think we'll go with that because I don't have any armor right now. So this gives us a chance to talk to this guy. I remember my initiation well, more so the celebration in my private hall. The best thing about passing on, aside from returning to the Earth, is meeting your element face to face, assuming it has one. A green world is a good world. There have been times I would have liked to be Earth Master of a more prominent tower, but lately I have become content with my place in East Ellawald. Possibly my favorite hall in the whole tower. 
I have to admit, I have become accustomed to the chair. I've met my fair share. We are not all serious all the time. Even an earth mage can let his hair down once in a while. I trained him personally, one of my most dedicated students. You're lucky to count him as a friend. Some of my best friends have been air mages. After all, they can't help what they are. I don't mind him, in small doses. I used to roam about. I used to roam about when I was younger. The region has become more dangerous since then. Malt seems much more relaxed now. What's that? You will find them highly receptive to your nourish spell. Think of them as plantable ladders. What? Say that again? There's something satisfyingly practical about magic. It's not all about putting a dent in your enemy's armor. I'm going to know what... what I have found there is much wisdom to be gained from listening to the animals of the trees and burrows. Even the smallest creatures can hold the greatest insights. Okay, talk to rabbits. To earth, stone and wood are linked alike. They will obey the mage that respects them. You would do best to focus on the smaller of these. It is a duty to all life to help it grow, especially plant life. For those of us who have not trained as long, it is still possible. Dang it, man. How can I help? That is Any creature that attacks an innocent ground dweller from the air is born out of cowardice. You can tell Jonas I said that. Not that he'll remember. What in the world did you say? I came out of there. Exactly what I need to know. Something about rollable ladders. God, you'll say it again. Maybe I cast magic on these beans. I should. I should. I don't want to waste any of these. Ma okay. Maybe I plant the seeds. Let's try it out for a second. Did you have to mark your territory there? Yeah, maybe if we put the seeds down and cast Nourish on them. Yes, okay, so that must have been what he was talking about. What are we going to do with these? I will need something to put the wasps in. Empty flask, maybe? Worth the try. Get some extra ones for later. Yeah, the health potion is four gold, so I should have bought that four instead of all those apples. That's okay. So far, I'm really liking the economy in this. I mean, it's simple, but it's effective. I feel like I don't have too much gold. 
sure as you gain combat abilities, you'll end up with too much, but for now it's excellent. I've captured the wasps in a flask. Okay, so now I can take this and get back to the guy. Go up here and see if they're happy with me now. Now that I have removed those bothersome wasps for good, I think the eagles will let me pass. Cool. A little confusing. Maybe if they could talk, I could understand a little better, but... Save our game. Alphans. Cool. A pair of winged flightarian guards. Hopefully they are as stony as they look. Uh -oh. It is a young flightarian male. From the look of it, his leg is injured, and his left wing has been badly scorched. There's not much I can do about the wing, but the leg... Uh, stay away from me! Leave me be! Go get bandages. Teleport back to the tower. Hopefully, I have enough gold. Oh. Okay. Go get into a battle in the wasteland. Half health, we'll try it, we'll see what happens. There's three of them, what? No, come back! Enough. I started fighting each other, what? Right? Oh, hey, this combat's pretty cool. Okay. I think it should tell you what you pick up, but otherwise, not bad. Healing potion. The healing properties are taking effect. I feel strong and invigorated once more. Could be at full health now. Yep. So I, I don't think you get experience for combat, but that's probably for the best. That was pretty cool. I like that. Reanimated the one guy. Kept using the stationary spell. I like how they started attacking each other because they hit each other. The first thing I'll go sell the swords to this guy. <clears throat> or rather. I have need of new blades for her. Oh, you want the blades. Many thanks to you. Pretty good. Okay, I'll hold on to the other two for now. I'll go talk to him. We'll buy the bandages. Okay, it's a key item. Makes sense. 
Yeah, the combat's pretty good once you kind of get used to it. It's a little weird still, but I think, I think they did pretty amazing work, especially considering it's an AGS game. Engine's pretty versatile. Okay. A bandage might not be a bad idea, but I must tend to the wound first. Now what does that mean? Long question? Drink this. It should ease the pain enough to help you walk. We just have to attend to the wound first. Stay away! I will hurt you, human! Go! Hold still. I need to see your wound. It is my leg, human. I do not need... Ugh. His leg isn't broken, but it's badly burned, and there's a sharp rock fragment embedded in the wound. I wonder if I can I'll pull need it to out. do something. Oh. I need to remove the rock fragment. <sighs> Thank you, human. I bound his leg as best I can. What? What are you going to do now? At least allow me to move your leg into a more comfortable position. Come on. Up you get. I am dark, by the way. What's your name? Falk. Why are you helping me? I could not leave you to suffer. Your human friends thought otherwise. What happened? I was flying over the town. I know I am not meant to, but I like seeing it up close. As I passed over your lord's home, flame engulfed my leg and caught my wing. Flame? From an arrow? It must have been. I made it as far as the pass, and landed here. I may never fly again. There is no greater shame for my people. If you permit me, Falk, I will return with you to your valley. I need to speak with your leader. He might be less hostile if you are with me. As you have helped me, that seems only fair. I will call for Chief Hawkeye at the entrance. You say the humans targeted you, Falk? The Lord's own guards? I saw only the direction the flame came from. The largest ground perch. Magile's home, I think. A moment later, it struck my leg and scorched my wing. This is most serious. The worst incident since these troubles began. Sorry to interrupt, Chief Hawkeye. But to what troubles do you refer? You will do well to remember that a human's place is second among Flatarians, less when he is trespassing. He helped me, Father. Indeed. That is why he still lives. Father? Ask your questions, human, but be quick. You are fortunate he is with you and speaks in your favor. You have come this far, human, but no further. What business have you with our most revered wards? Maybe it's too soon to be asking for an egg. Perhaps if I were to gain their trust somehow. You mentioned troubles. Maybe I can help. Time to play diplomat. I think not. Our relations with the humans are strained of late and this season's envoys have not yet arrived. In addition, we have spied the Lord's own citizens entering the forest, where no human should dare tread. If Magile is conspiring with the forest folk, as I suspect, and humans have formed such an impure alliance, 
we would have no choice but to cleanse this land of their tainted blood. More recent and pressing are the thefts committed against our own citizens. Only your kind would possess such frivolous items as those left in our perches. We have never fully trusted them, with good reason, it seems. His envoys have borne lesser gifts in recent seasons, strange as the price of our protection has not lowered. The goblins are long known to seek communion with the lower world. They should be purged from the wooded realm they despoil. Perhaps there is a misunderstanding. No, my sources are infallible. I have eyes on the ground. You need not know more than that. I am not wrong. Humans have entered our city without permission. Coupled with today's unforgivable attack, my options are few. An end to human insolence draws near. Have you searched your city for the missing property? Why would we? The perpetrators are obvious. I would like to see these perches for myself. You suggest we are capable of a ground dweller's dishonesty? That insult alone hardens my resolve. No human shall again pass beyond this. I will allow him, father. What is this? You cannot- Is it not our law that any Flytarian, chief son or no, may grant outsiders passage through our territory? It is so, but know that you would be responsible for this human, Falk. Were he to abuse your trust, your life would be forfeit. I could do nothing to change that. I understand. Very well. You may see these purchase human once you have shown respect and paid tribute. But remember, should your actions compromise my son, you will suffer by my own talons. Yours would be the first blood in a war that now seems unavoidable. Sperrin, take Falk home. Conjure, you shall escort the human around our city. Be vigilant at all time. Welcome to the city of Flyteria. Is that, is that their houses? Are they up in trees? It's weird looking from here. The more I get into this, the more I, I like it. 70, that's not far. Because I've got armor now, I've got health, I'm doing good. But don't I have regeneration though? I've got mana recovery speed. Maybe it only recovers in battle. Can you take me to Falk's perch? All right. Hold on. I realized what I was asking. Hello again. I didn't thank you properly before. Please know I am grateful for your aid. I'm glad I could help. Tell me, is there any way to see your father? As an outsider, you will not be able to visit my father's perch without an offering of some kind. Humans are known for their tools and crafts, at least the ones you are permitted to use. Perhaps you could make something for him. It might be valuable. But I should leave it there. The heir himself. Painted a few years ago by the looks. Tools for carving. Falk must be quite skilled. I don't know anything about woodcraft. If I want to hit something, I'll use magic. Dust free. Makes sense with all the wing beating. That's a no-go for me. I guess there's nothing that interesting. I was born 14 years ago, here in my mother's perch, 
My family has always ruled Flyteria. I wonder, though, if my people could accept a leader who cannot fly. She died six years ago. I try not to think about her, but sometimes it is difficult. There are few Flyterians my age in the valley, and they do not share my interest in what is beyond it. How old are you? Sixteen. Uh, I had hoped that, when I am of age, my father would allow me to leave the valley for a time, as he did. I doubt that will ever happen now. Why have you come here? To obtain a griffin's egg. You might find that a challenge. The griffins are difficult to approach, and they do not trust strangers. Furthermore, my father will not allow you near them until you have gained his trust. My father is a good leader, strong, devoted, and proud. I only hope I can do him justice when it is my turn, if it is ever my turn. Being the son of the chief is a mixed blessing. What of your father? I do not know him, at least not anymore. I haven't seen my family for many years. That must be difficult. I try not to think about it. It is an honor to discover your chosen, worth the sacrifice, so I've been told. They wouldn't remember me anyway. I doubt that. This is the only home I've ever known. Few Flyterians ever leave the valley. My father was one of them. Before she died, my mother told me of how father often left the mountains. He was different then, more curious and trusting. She told me of his adventures and his interest in the great structures which stood tall and spun with wooden feathers. Windmills? He did not know what they were called or what they were for, but they always fascinated him. I have always been interested in the human town, ever since I glimpsed it from Crag Peak when I was very small. It must sound strange, but I am not angry. I know I should not have approached the town, losing a wings like your kind losing a leg. As my father says, some lessons can only be learned through the hardest sacrifice. I never imagined this, though for letting you into our valley? It was the least I could do. If you can prove that humans are not responsible for these thefts, maybe my father will change his mind about them. You do not owe me anything, except perhaps to learn what really happened to the missing items. When you asked my father whether he had searched for the stolen property, I wondered how humans could get around unseen, unless they were mages. You are a mage, yes? Nearly. I've heard about your kind. You are not like other humans. Could a mage have stolen those things? It is true that some can move about unseen, but those same mages could not ascend your perches unnoticed. Drop by again soon. Hmm. Oh, what's that note? Like a windmill? I tried to make one for my father, but I am unfamiliar with the strange object in the center. You mean the wheel? Wheel? Never mind. But he needs a wheel. No need to ask for a lift. Can I? Halt, human. Chief Arcane desires no audience with you at this time. If I were to move out of the Mage's Tower... If I were to move... Can you take me down to ground level? This scrap looks like it came from a poster of some kind. Did a human really commit the thefts? 
I should find out where this came from. I do not complete it. So this is kind of interesting. I don't really understand. So I'm running around the valley for nothing here. If I ever need a place to get stuck inside, I'll consider it. It seems like this is all it is. Can you take me back to the village overlook? I'd climb it if I had a few more legs. I'm so confused right now. This goes backwards, right? Can you take? I can only access one house, though. Is that right? Residences of the socially aloof. One of the few human things we tolerate. One of the. F Drop by again soon. Odds are, Falk would not appreciate me rummaging through his personal effects. I am neither he... They can't be cleaned off. I'm a little confused about what to do here. If I were to move out of the... If I were... If I... I kind of thought I would be coming to different places. Okay. The talk is Fully. They won't talk to me. How can I? Those formations are the most fascinating thing about the whole valley. They build their homes in the trees, which I can appreciate on some level. But why so far from the ground? I have not had the privilege. By reputation, he's a little quick to judge. You didn't hear me say that. I imagine they're an effective deterrent. You have to admire people who preserve nature the way they have. Be careful that it doesn't hatch. I heard that griffins form strong attachments to their parents. There's a book, Bestiary Volume 7, which describes griffins as majestic as they are territorial, best viewed from a distance. You should probably heed its advice. Ah, yes. Varner loves that one. You should be able to locate it on the shelf. I'm expecting the complete Chronicles of the Missing Continent series to arrive any week now. Almost entirely speculative, of course. No one knows where North and South Ellerwell got to. Still, there's no harm in entertaining a little fiction now and again, so long as it's largely grounded in reality. And some think we have no imaginations. There's an idea floating around in the capital that our four casts should be paired into two. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? Just the thought of being paired with the Air Mages the ideal place for an Earth Mage who wishes to spend his life in quiet contemplation and hard study. Sounds exciting. I think so. Igonor's tower is unique, at least for three days' walk in any northerly direction. Then you'll find another exactly like it. It's the best job in the world to be caretaker of every book in this hall. Someday, I will have read them all. I have a fondness for natural studies, which should not surprise you. Also, I have taken a liking to history. 
I hope you've studied every volume like I told you. Our element does not reward ignorance. I'm more inclined to research past the commonly known texts. The earlier, the better. You know, the stories of how the elements cleansed the old world, and how mages rose from among the giftless to protect what was left. Our ancestors must have really ruined things for the elements to react the way they did. Think of all that strange technology the giftless once had. All gone now. Though one can't help but wonder if anything got left behind. If it did, it would be our duty to destroy it. Of course. There are an untold number of halls within this tower, which is what comes from making the best use of the same space. We can be a fickle bunch at times, I grant you, but I believe every mage has Eliwald's best interests at heart. I have no doubt that my element knew what it was doing when it picked me, in a naturalistic, polypantheistic sense. You made that term up. Maybe. But you can chant to it. Is there anything you do not already know about me? We've been friends since the day you arrived. Come to think of it, we're both lucky I started at this hall ten years before you. I nearly went to the one in Saltish. You are even luckier I was allowed to mentor you, after your initial one passed away from Scraybane's fever. I had only just been initiated. Youngest mage ever to have a pupil. Not bad, eh? Who wouldn't want to be a master? With just four seats per tower, it remains an unrealized goal for most. To reach that level requires the highest discipline, with the exception of the High Masters of Dominatra. Meeting them is a rare privilege. If you ever get even half the chance, jump at it. If I could learn half as much as he has, I would die a happy mage. We've always shared a policy of honesty, so you know my full opinion of you. However, if you would like me to reiterate- No, no, you're right. We've covered that subject thoroughly. My tasks were somewhat different from yours. I had to bring back the skin of a 50-foot panther snake, a pearl from the bottom of the lake. We had mermaids back then. You would have loved that. And the cap from a green cap goblin. I am just glad it was not a red cap. Those goblins dip their caps in blood and are not too particular about whose. Fortunately for me, the green caps were partial to tonics. I taught them how to make a special one. If he has any more information for me. Huh? My dear boy, you will never guess what I saw! A young Flytarian over Iganor? I must have told you. Poor brave child. Uh, wait, you saw what happened? What? Who attacked the Flytarian boy? Why? To start a war. When? Soon. But I must know who. How? You could tell me. What? Who attacked the... Ugh. Never mind. Hmm? Always so serious, that Varner. Gets around like he's expecting the world to evaporate at any moment. He just needs to learn a little levity. That's a great song. Who was I talking about? Varner. Oh yes! Did you know Varner is the odds-on favorite to replace Pyrace as Firemaster? I should know. I'm running a pool. Want in? Falum... Falarm... Uh, Phileum. Yes, that's it. Phileum. I think. He possesses a key quality of most fire mages. Overconfidence. The tailor's wife locked her husband out of the house again. Probably because he didn't arrive home until just before dawn. I have more immediate matters to attend to. Farna said I knew something about rogue forms. Well, I must then. Let's see. Oh, yes. They were once creatures of the gaseous plane, able to assume any form they wished. For that reason, along with their behavior in those guises and the risks they posed during the wars, they were considered a threat and destroyed. It's one of the few times in our history that air mages took an offensive stance. Though I suspect we were coerced by our hot-headed brethren. Such a pity. I would have liked the chance to examine a rogue form. In a bottle, of course. Without a doubt, the best of the th My third th He will make an excellent heir. He is an heir, Jonas. And a flightless one at that. Someone attacked him and crippled his wing. That's... So that's what I saw! What? 
Jonas, what did you see? An arrow of flame. You mean a fire arrow? Like the town guards have? Yes, and no. This isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm, I should keep this to myself until I have a chance to investigate things further. Who could have harmed the chief's son? I don't know, but the fiend must be found and dealt with. What if the fiend's a friend? Pardon? Hmm? Keep your head in the clouds! I have more of me- It's interesting, uh, because I already talked about everything about him in that subsection, but then after that it became purple because there was something new. I like that. Mana is low, so let's drink a mana potion. Of a fountain. I guess that brings me to full. Yep. I guess let's talk to her, our friend here. Discretion is your ally, Dark. No good can come of a rash approach. What are rivers without their mountains? A proud and noble race. Born from the ashes of the old world, tread lightly in their presence. The future chief, as I understand it, a spirit from which great strength and conviction flows, may it do so in the right direction. From what I hear, they are even more dutiful and loyal than Lord Megyle's men. I have set eyes upon it only once. It is a great privilege to be allowed even a glimpse. Jonas earned his passage, but he will not say how. Fewer have shot. Even the shell is said to have remarkable properties. It is said, when consumed as a powder with certain rare herbs, a griffin's egg can bestow the mage with the gift of flight. At least that is what Jonas once told me. I do not know anyone who has achieved this, though. Creatures of majesty and menace in equal measure. I find. Were you looking for Varna and Sheet? So was I. It's strange. He doesn't appear to be anywhere in the tower. Yeah, so he's the one who did it, or he's a traitor of some kind. What I was thinking, that it had to do with the Fire Mage Ascendancy. You wish to speak with me, Initiate? Uh, if you have time. It is whether you have time. However, if you decide to spend your precious moments conversing with an old, soon-to-be-retired master, I will not stop you. I have served this tower my whole life, or so it seems. I have no regrets. You are lucky. There are some which are not nearly as well regulated as this one. Our order awaits you, Initiate. Be ready. Our cast includes many notable mentions. Are you interested in our history? Perhaps you might have heard of Mage Tenero, a well-remembered figure, if not well-liked. He burned down six villages out of pure enjoyment before he was caught and contained. So he was completely unstable with no moral code? Without a doubt. Yet he will be remembered all the same. The position has not yet been decided. As you have likely heard, it is down to Phileum and Varna. I will say no more. I have done all I set out to do. To ask for more seems disrespectful to my element. They are not to be questioned, only their will observed and obeyed. A thousand flasks of mage's water could not purify as well. Tolerance goes both ways. I see greatness in you. I know you will not let your tower down. I know not where he is. It is unusual for Varna to depart the tower without telling anybody. May your trials fare well, Initiate. So 
so maybe Phelan is Phelan won't training the other guy. I don't know. Guess we'll see. So I feel like I've learned some things. Not necessarily what I came to learn, but something. So let's go to town and see if we can learn anything from townspeople or the guards. Maybe this guy will talk now. I feel like thanking One should have no access. I have not. There is a way. Townspeople. This the guy. So, will you meet him, Finn? Yep. Shh! Not so loud! But will you? I'll consider it. I possess an item I think someone of your talents would find beneficial. If you were to pay me, us, the token sum of 70 gold coins, we might be able to arrange a trade. I don't have enough money. Well, let me know when you do. It's a professional discourtesy to reveal one's sources. Let's just say the previous owner, a mage no less, won't be needing it anymore. I have nothing against you lot, so long as you stay in your towers for the most part and don't bother us giftless folk. That's what you call us, isn't it? Among other things. What? Nothing. I'm not a climber, but I don't mind the mountain. Just because they have wings doesn't mean they have the right to look down on us. But they do look down on uh, us. Pug, just... Oh, forget it. Met him a few towns back where, but he won't tell. He would say he survived off petty theft. I would say charity. He's a terrible thief, and I should know. Caught him attempting to pick my pocket with both hands. The locals must have also recognized his uncomplicated nature, and likewise took pity on him. I suppose he reminded me of myself before. Well, that doesn't matter anymore. Watch your back out there. Did something happen? I asked Finn about that once. He said it's easy to start and hard to stop. I guess it's like an itch, or snoring, or a horse. I don't like it when the rocks come tumbling down on your head. You mean avalanches. Do I? I like birds. You like eating birds? Oh, yeah. I've never met a single one, honest. What's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. It's better than the last town. This one has no jail. I doubt I'd be welcome. Don't you want to get... He may well have... Beat it. He's run out of things to think. Open those guys, but. Oh, okay. In addendum to the previous decrees of the day, it is hereby unlawful to be wearing the same colors as your most generous and compassionate lordship. A fashion faux pas tax will be levied upon the offending party, the resulting proceeds of which will be used to expand further the necessarily diverse range of your lord's garments. Again, I bid you good day. He's me. I might appreciate his. I feel. Some townspeople have gathered to hear Lord Miguel's weekly decree. They share the same worried expression. No. Boyd, our barkeep, has been watering down his drinks for the non regular. He won't find me. Must be a difficult life, cooped up in that tower. How do you all fit in there anyway? There we go. This wheel looks broken. 
May I have it? You wouldn't take a girl's wheel without compensation, right? What did you have in mind? Make me an offer. You'll need to be a little more generous than that. You'll need to be... You'll need to be... You'll need to... You'll need to be a... You'll need to... You'll need to... You'll need to be... That seems a fair trade. So if I make the windmill, make sure there's nothing new over here. Girl's gone, I notice. The last thing I need is a swag of useless items. I don't think my private hall... Good blacksmith, might you attach this wooden wheel and metal pole so that the wheel spins freely at one end? <clears> hmm. <throat> I think he's waiting for me to hand over the items and pay. Is that... I think... Is that... Is that... Thank you, blacksmith. To find the other things. Feathers. Where would I get feather? Okay, well, I can still go back to him. Talk to him about it, I guess. Can Blades. I need feathers and I need a face. Face is right there. Do you mind if I take this block of wood? Go ahead. I wasn't sure how to finish it anyway. It wouldn't look good in my private hall. I am beginning to see what you're up to. Drop. I wonder if I can use the feathers from his injury. I'm sure Falk will not mind. This will combine the feathers with... The feathers are not adhesive. I'll need to make them sticky. Yeah. The feathers are sticky now. Okay, so now I should be able to return to Falk. That is a fine gift. Are those my feathers? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Do not be. My father will want to know you had my blessing to use them. Hold it still while I scratch my mark into the wood. There. My father should approve now. 
Guess I have to give it a go. Much better this time. You may enter and present your gift. An insightful gift. My son listens well to his father's tales. What do you call this? A windmill. Windmill. <sighs> Falk is as I was in my youth. Too much so, I think. But the past is dead, as are those who were taken from us. Only the future matters. My people will survive in spite of human and forest folk treachery. A leather gauntlet with brass buckles and silver studs made for a smallish hand. The owner was evidently a smoker and I don't think the Flytarians have taken up such vices yet. The mouthpiece is made of brass. A leather... My son has paid the price for placing trust and curiosity in your kind, and will do so for the rest of his life. I blame myself for his lack of intuition. My personal life is no concern of yours, human. Should you ever travel beyond this realm, you will find no nobler bastions of purity. The human town holds little interest to me. The only contact I have with its lord is through his envoys. As it is, we have neither seen nor heard from them in some months. To me, this indicates Megyle no longer desires our protection. It is home to the unclean, the castoffs of nature. No Flatirian would ever think to nest in there. If I had the wing power, I would lead an assault on those creatures and put an end to their defiling natures for good. Hmm. As you can see, the evidence held to the light casts the darkest shadow over our human neighbors. Go ahead. Observe the items if you must. You will reach the same conclusion. Humans have been among us, uninvited, bringing nothing but ill intent. Two items of value only to humans were discovered in separate perches. Nearby was evidence of further transgression. What does it matter what was stolen? That these thefts happened at all is the most pertinent fact. If you must know, they were grooming implements, adornments, small things of that nature. The thefts occurred in separate locations. Condor can take you to those perches. I don't need it. Not even our most powerful mages can turn back time. Exposure to that water is risky at best. I've no right to bear it. With my luck, it contains weak old leftovers. Oh, so I do that. Can you take me to the perch where the smoking pipe was found? Locked. Probably boring private stuff anyway. It's locked. Chances are the owner has the key. No matter. I am not a huge tea drinker. A quaint tea set for two. A small holding box sits atop the entryway shelf. 
I didn't come here to collect random keepsakes. I prefer feathers on the inside of my bed. Incredible! A book you can take without getting magically teleported to your private hall. I do not complete it. I don't need to we- hmm. And then there were three. I'll leave them alone. And then I'll keep it with me. I can't. Can you take me to the perch where the studded gauntlet was found? Swap house? I don't mind. The Flytarians are not vegetarians. These scraps of fruit must have come from produce outside of the valley. The Interesting. No reason to confiscate any of these items. It's locked. I do not complete it. What? I do not. something here and then and art collection is not my thing I prefer f in not when there's a door handy maybe I could check the flight the fruit seller Halt, human. What? Drop by again. One of the few human. The envoys sometimes bring those as gifts. Back to town. I wonder if that's taking up mana. Makes sense if it does. Okay, not much though. I guess I need to give him back the incense burner. It probably came from one of the posters pinned about the town. This one. I don't need. A torn poster, the scrap paper, most definitely belongs to it. Perhaps I should learn what happened to the poster first. Fruit scraps in the Flatarian village? From my stall, you say? Yes, they were spread across the floor at the scene of a theft. I am short a few apples and a banana, but I'd wager it was those children who like playing nearby. They're certainly fast. May I take a closer look? They went missing from the crate behind me. He won't find... It would be prudent to... The fruit scraps in the Flytarian perch likely came from here. Might this brass button have come from the Flytarian village somehow? I should ask around. Level. Greatly enjoying the leveling system. I think it feels pretty good. And it's not very long in between levels, so... That would give me 10 hit points. 
We want more intelligence for our mana. It doesn't seem super important right now. Probably need more strength. Do that. What happened to your poster? Vandalism! Cirrus Tabin and I were discussing the incoming trade tariffs. The next thing I know, someone had come along and torn it. There's no respect for anything anymore. I blame Megayo. For a ripped poster? Why not? That reminds me. I found the strangest thing. Whoever defaced the poster dropped some sort of grooming item. Only it wasn't like anything I've ever seen. It had the handle of a comb, but in place of the teeth, it was curved like a beak. Might be useful if you had feathers, I suppose. Do you still have this feather comb? I do, but... Go on. I hate to ask, but times are tough. What with our lord raising the taxes for the fourth time this year, I was going to sell it to Sea Long. Are you sure there's nothing I could do to change your mind? Well... I was deeply saddened when I saw what someone had done to the likeness of my valued customer. I mean, this good person. If you could find a way to repair the poster with the missing pieces, that would be a service beyond measure. Beyond silly. <laughs> but I'm missing a piece. Oh. If you... go with my tunic. There's no time to play, button up the bystander. I found this on the ground nearby. Did you notice who dropped it? No, I'm afraid not. I found this on the ground. An item so small, my sight did not catch. I found this on the ground nearby. Did you notice who dropped it? Let me see that. Ah, that's the insignia of Ignore. Anyone enacting official duty on behalf of Lord Miguel wears a uniform adorned with identical buttons. Do such important people grace your stall with their presence? Every day. Why do you ask? I'm investigating a theft. I had no idea mages concerned themselves with the trivialities of us lesser folk. They don't. These thefts occurred in the Flytarian village, possibly by lesser folk, as you say. Do you know who might have dropped this particular button? Oh, well, <laughs> nobody comes to mind, I'm sorry to say. Then again, I've never paid close attention to those of the favored quarter. No sense feeding one's envy. If there's a connection between the displaced fruit and button, I may find it in the Flytarian Valley. The wax mixes poorly with the dough. During the festivals, I decorate my fruit with wax depictions, depending on which element is in ascendancy. It is fire's turn soon. I may yet find a better use for it. There's no time to... I need to go... If he wants his thing back. Your incense burner, as promised. My humblest thanks. May you receive all the blessings your elements see fit to give. They are your elements, too. That which is mine, I have. So I thank you. For sharing yours. Well, at least it got me some experience. Okay, so I need to go back to the village. 
So I don't immediately see why that's a benefit. I don't think Condor would. Condor. Strange. I've seen something like that in my cousin's perch. Pecan found it there two days ago. We thought it might be a coin of some sort from your town. You didn't mention this to your father? It did not seem important. I mean, nothing was stolen. I should take a look anyway. Can you direct me to your cousin's perch? Of course. It is on the western side of the valley. Pecan is visiting the Sharpstone Mountains today, but I can permit you entry. Ask Condor. He knows the way. Can Another palette swap. I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. They could have inverted the image, though. These breadcrumbs may have come from the market quarter, just as the fruit scraps did. Even Falk's scratch marks are larger than these. I should pro- Locked. I guess it's not a typical, you know, thief class, things like that, so there's no point checking chess, but... I mean, it's interesting that they have the classes set up in terms of, uh, like, earth, fire, wind, and whatever. That's kind of interesting, you know, instead of the traditional warrior-made thief. So that's, that's cool. I want to see what the actual differences are. Because if it's just an alternate way of solving limited puzzles, it may not be that interesting. Already tempted to play the game again, even though I'm not done with it. Oops, what? What did you say? Keep missing text. Thank you. It's heartening to find that there are still decent folk left in the world. I think that's worth more than coin. I've no idea how valuable this feather comb is. Still, it's yours if you want it. It wasn't designed to brush human hair. Okay, so I got that. No. I guess take it back to Falco or Falk. Teleport's really helpful. So is that skip animation thing. Where did you find that? In Ignor's market quarter. That's more than a little odd. I recognize the markings on the handle. They belong to the widow Parla, but she's been sequestered in mourning for the past month. I imagine you still wish to visit her perch, though. You imagine correctly. Condor can fly you there. Okay, at least it does open up. As far as, uh... Can you take... Places that you can... How it swap. Oh, what did you say? There you are. What have you brought for me today? Oh, thank you. I know you love me. But you must stop bringing me these trinkets. Where do you get them from? It is not safe, my darling, especially not now. I would never tell anyone it was you. It will always be our secret. We are good at keeping secrets, are we not? No one will ever know who you really are.
I should not disturb Parla until... It is the magpie I saw in Parla's perch. It's out. Follow that magpie. The magpie flew to an outcropping in the mountains. The smell of the area prevented me from investigating further. I can take you there, if you like. That guy's voice actor sounds like Loyal from Wheel of Time audiobook. Can you take me to the outcropping? Okay, now I need the candle to be lit. I don't need... He is ex... I guess I can light it in my, uh, my bedroom. No, not the reading hall. My candle? I am surprised you can't skip that. I don't need to. I can't. What? Let's go back to the Mage's Tower, light the candle. My candle? I'm going to save our game at the outcropping. I don't know if we'll be able to handle those guys or what. But Can you hopefully we don't need a specific item. According to Condor, the stench from within the cave is too strong for him. Funny, I can't smell anything. Oh, death. The missing envoys, I presume. The burns suggest they were killed by flame projectiles, like the one that struck Falk. Lord Megyle's guards may have been ordered to assassinate them. But for what purpose? Furthermore, why leave them here? And how did the perpetrator move them up here without being noticed? There is another more disturbing possibility, which I had better keep to myself for now. I don't... So, the battle optional?
Looks like the battle's optional. Did it load? Can't tell. The missing there. Okay, so I'll leave the rates for now. The the envoys, I presume. The the. I guess we'll go back. Can you? Drop by. Halt, human. Halt, human. Can you? Maybe I have to win the battle. the dead. Potions later, and we're good. There's no. There's no. What is this? A conductor? It's like mine, only it has a stylized symbol on it. Two half circles slid apart along a dividing line. This envoy wears a single gauntlet, matching the one I saw in Hawkeye's perch. The dead envoy's clothing is ripped to shreds. Two missing brass buttons have been torn from his doublet. I have found out all I can. I need to see Hawkeye. You have shown perseverance in your search for the truth. Most surprising for a human. You have also brought proof that these thefts were but the acts of a mere magpie and its misguided caretaker. Guard, bring her in. You summoned me, Noble Hawkeye. Your magpie is responsible for the recent plight surrounding our missing property. Failure to disclose this almost edged us into war. My darling is innocent. I know him better than you know your own son. Claw carefully, Parla. While every soul of flight may expect our care, your pet is just that and no more than a scavenger. You will not speak about my husband that way! Your husband, Parla. Your husband is dead. Like my wife. 
While we both feel their loss still, there is no returning from the higher world. But he has come back to me! I knew it the day he died, when I first saw my beloved in his new form. <sighs> we have heard enough. Guard, return her to her perch, and keep watch lest her pet return to cause more mischief. Do not hurt my darling! He must not be kept from me! It appears you were right, and that my son's trust was well placed. Falk grows quickly, something I have overlooked in seasons past. He has coped with the dishonor dealt him better than I could have expected. He will succeed you admirably when his day comes. No small impairment can change that. I will tell him you said so. Perhaps I have been too hasty to judge the humans we have protected so long. The discovery of the envoys changes everything. Their disappearance was clearly not my people's doing, though some in Iganor may believe otherwise. Yet I do not comprehend why humans would kill their own in such a manner. I don't believe the assault on Falk was motivated by mislaid revenge. Yet I am sure it is related somehow to the Envoy's demise. A lot of trouble has been taken to break your long-held alliance. It almost succeeded. The nature of their deaths also disturbs me. For reasons with your forgiveness, I do not wish to discuss. I promise you, Chief Hawking, to find out all I can as soon as my remaining tasks are completed. Once initiated, I will have greater authority to investigate on your behalf. I would be grateful for that. Is there anything I can do to expedite proceeding? Yes. My master sent me to collect a single griffin's egg. Can you help me? Hmm. I can tell you where to find the griffins. They nest in the mountains west of here and are difficult creatures to approach, let alone take something from. Avoid detection when approaching the nests. Conceal yourself whenever possible. If you should be seen, you can expect an aggressive response. Act as some of our lesser kindred. Duck. Also, know that harming them or their unhatched young would do great dishonor to my people. If you are ready, my guard will take you to the Griffin's nests. Farewell. Goodbye, Chief Hawking, and thank you. One last thing, human. These eyes see more than your kind could ever hope to behold, and see more still when they look upon yours. Hunger is a trait common upon many, for what one wants and cannot have. Be wary of such desires. As we say, to prey upon more than a talon's share is to lose sight of one's horizon. Thank you, Chief Hawking. Oh, Yelling at the perches. Can you take me to the Griffin nesting grounds? Hopefully there's nothing too crazy about this. Meet me on the western plateau once you have the egg. What?
Can you? Nish. Let's try a different route. I can only... Getting to the egg is pretty easy. Do the same thing again. Why is it autosave? How do you load the autosave? Okay, so if you wait a while, the griffin disappears. Okay. Crazy, I never noticed this fluid autosave button up there. So we can go straight up there this way. And we can get the egg. So. I just have to figure out how to get out safely. Now the griffin's about to fly back through. Drop the ice. Hey, duckling, because who comes through on its hat? Oh. So how do I get out? Maybe you can kill the Gryphon if you're on, like, a, uh, evil character. Hmm. What was that? I should wait for the Gryphon oh. to- Oh, no! Okay, I can definitely get it this time. I just needed to duck instead of trying to leave the area over and over. Plus. Okay, take this egg. Left. Into the cave. Oh. Not really about being stealthy.
up too. Now I can return the egg and be done with my second trial. What did he say? Nuts, Miss um, Messages. You have succeeded a second time, Initiate Dark. It is evident that your mentor's faith was not misplaced. Your compassion and diplomacy will hold you in good stead with the Flytarians for many years to come. The Griffin's egg, as precious and sacred as that which mothered it will be returned to its keepers at the conclusion of your trial. Care for it well. It is time to look to the forest where your most difficult and dangerous task lies waiting. Let your element guide you. Now you remember what it's supposed to be. I came like you asked, Pug. What is this all about? I, uh, wanted to introduce you. This is... Names are not important at this time. Please, sir, sit. Have a drink. What is this, then? Want to know how real men have a good time? Ah! Oh, the ale's boiling! Oh, so it is. Let me pour you another. A good time, you say? I would think you've more pressing priorities. Such a regrettable history deserves recompense. Do you not think? What do you know about me? Only what your friend Pug here has said. Pug? He wants to help. Yeah? How? You are an opportunistic man, Fen. One who has lost much to the likes of Igonor's Lord. As you seek in vain to recover a life taken from you, a gambler in you senses his chance. Change rises like smoke from a smoldering ruin. Tell me, how much would you risk for a change, say, of occupancy in the Lord's Mansion? Ha! Talk is fine, but it makes no difference. The King chooses his Lords. Such choices can be reneged, especially when said Lords become unpopular. Have you not heard of the rumors? About the guy who making friends with those forest cretins? Sounds like something he'd do. Risk its people's lives by letting those things in town, just to get hold of whatever they've got stashed away. Greed is among your kind's greatest traits. And I hear he's planning to sever ties with the mountain folk, who will protect us then. Not you mages, that's for sure. Ah, but like yourself, I have a greater interest. Revolution. What's in it for you? Let us say... Personal satisfaction. Accept this as a show of good faith. We have a deal in the interest of change. That's a lot of change. Sure, why not? The cutscenes haven't given that much to the plot, but they're kind of neat. It's getting late, and I still need to collect that trinicorn horn from the forest and return to the tower before sunrise. Time to revisit the Sphere of Knowledge. Okay, so that's my next goal is the trinicorn horn. third trial. Alright, well that's it for the moment. We'll call it here. Um, 
that again sometime for the third trial whenever I get a chance to play this, but definitely do like it. I, mean, I think in terms of Quest for Glory inspired game, it's really excellent. The up system is cool, but you've got stats that do make an active difference in what you're doing. And uh, the combat is okay. Um, it's okay. We'll talk more about it later as we play and carry on, see what happens in the plot.